Hello again, Year 3. This is our second topic lesson of the term, and we're now going to be moving away from history and on to science. And we're going to spend the next few weeks looking at the science of light, light and dark. Um, so I hope you enjoy them. There's lots of activities as well. Um, the first lesson is really just a kind of getting to know actually what light is. So what is light? I think it'd be really useful if you could actually pause the video in a minute and uh, see if you can uh, work out for yourself that things give out light. Can you name things that actually do give out light? How does light help you to see? What is dark? How do mirrors work? What is a reflection? What are shadows? Think about it first, pause the video, maybe write down your answers um, because certainly you'll be finding out the answers during the next um, few lessons. Um, so it'd be really interesting to write down your answers first and then go back at the end to see what you've actually learned or whether what you said was, was right from the beginning. Moving on. Um, looking at these objects on the screen, um, some of them are sources of light. Can you identify which ones are actually sources of light, actually um, give light off or give light out rather than just reflect light? Um, take a minute or two to read them and then write down the list of all the ones you think actually provide light, give out light, um, are sources of light. And then maybe you can explain your reasons for your choice, why you think certain ones give out light and why you think certain ones don't. Once again, pause the video, take a minute or two to work out which ones are which and then we can move on. Moving on. Uh, some of them were a bit tricky, so we're going to go through some of the really tricky ones. Um, the moon, for example, um, a window or a mirror. These objects look like light sources, but in fact, they are not actually sources of light. They don't actually create any light themselves. So if you put these down, um, then obviously you, you didn't quite understand what we were looking for. Um, they might look like they're sources, but they're not. They're actually um, reflectors. Uh, the moon, for example, is not a light source. It doesn't create its own light. The only reason we can see the moon is because the light from the sun is reflecting off it and bouncing back to Earth. So that's why we see it. It doesn't actually create light. It just reflects and bounces back light from the sun back to Earth, which enables us to see it. Um, windows, uh, a window is not a light source, um, but it does allow light in, um, maybe light from the sun outside, or if you turn a light on in a house, um, you can actually see into the house through the window because uh, obviously windows allow light to travel through. They don't actually create light themselves. So that's another tricky one. Um, and obviously a mirror. A mirror doesn't actually create light itself. All it does is it's very good at reflecting back the light that hits it and bounces back into our eyes and that enables us to use it to see things. So it doesn't actually create light, it just bounces or reflects light back at us. So those are the tricky ones. So what's dark then? Um, dark is just an absence of light. Um, when there is no light or light source, then obviously it's going to be dark. Think about the times when it's dark or places where it's dark, which light source is usually missing? For example, during the night, um, the light source that's missing is the sun. Um, although you can actually see light bouncing off um, the moon, for example. Um, so that then creates light, but it's not a light source in itself. Um, some other stars create light as well. We can see those in the night sky. But what about other places in the dark? What, what's causing that to be dark? Where is the light source that's missing for those? Maybe you'd like to think about that. Right, now. Now we get on to an exercise for you to do. And you'll actually need an adult to help you with this. What I want you to do is get a bag like this. This is just a standard pillowcase, nice pattern on it. And get an adult to, or somebody else to hide an object into your pillowcase and then feel, feel it, see if you can work out exactly what is in the bag just from the feel alone. Because obviously there's no light getting in, so you can't actually see what's there. All you can do is feel it. When you felt it, you might want to try and draw the object or describe the object, write down a quick brief description of exactly what you think it is, what colours you might think it is, for example, because obviously you can't see that and it's much harder to tell what is in the bag until you actually got some light. When you open the bag up, light can now get inside and you can actually see the object. So in my bag here, when I let light in, I can see that my object was a teddy bear. A nice Chelsea teddy bear. So I'm waving at you. 
and therefore it's much easier to see when you open the bag and you actually have light. Um, what you could now do then is draw the object when you can actually see it. Your object, not my teddy bear, whatever object you have. Um, now, why don't you try and get an adult or somebody else to hide two or three other different things into your bag, um, interesting things, and see if you can work out what they are just by feel alone, and then draw them or describe them, and then see how much easier it is when you've actually got a source of light, and you can see them, and you can work out from there. So that's the first lesson, all very straightforward, a really good introduction to light. I hope you enjoy the activities, and I'll see you again soon.